Hey Joltek, it is Dane, and today we are going to be doing what's called a chroma key or a green screen. Um, we are going to be showing you how to do those type of things. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up our After Effects here. There we go. Again, you're going to see uh, a bar on the top and bottom um, because uh, my monitor ratio is 21 by 9, not your normal 16 by 9 ratio. Okay, uh, this is the client here that we're, I'm working with. Um, so you can see it's several minutes long. I'm going to have to end up cutting it up. Um, but let's see right here. I always just stretch in, so I don't really need that part. What we're going to do is we're going to start off and we're going to mask him out here. As you can see, I've got a green sheet set up. You can see the door back here. You can see the other wall back here. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is create a mask. I'm going to do that by clicking on the rectangle tool up at the top. Make sure that you have your layer selected. And I'm just going to draw a box around my subject. Uh, and you need to make sure that the widest point that your subject's arms are going to be at is inside that box. So here I know he's, he's just stretching, he's not um, actually talking and that part's gonna be cut out anyway. But while he's talking, I wanna make sure that his arms and his hands are inside that box because that's all we're gonna see once this is all done is what is inside that box. Okay, the next step is to add our key light, our key light 1.2. So uh, that's our effect. You can go to effects and presets and find it, or if you've got the um, FX console control space and then type it in there and you see we've got the, the key light up here. Make sure we can see it. My head's actually in the way of that. Let's move these Move my head out of the way here. I'll move it right here. There we go. So you can see the key light 1.2 is what I'm using here. Uh, now I'm going to grab the dripper, the eyedropper tool, and I'm going to select my green. Okay. Now right now my view is set to final result. So if I was to just output it, this is what it would look like. And that's not quite what I want because you can see we still got fabric in there and such. So what I'm going to do is go to screen mat. And what this does is it shows us that everything is that is black is not shown and everything that is white is shown. Where you have these gray tones in here, it's mildly transparent. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, go to my screen mat here and I have my clip black and my clip white. Okay. Now these are going to, I'm going to be scrolling these to make sure that everything I don't want seen shows up as black. So right there looks about good. I back it off and do it just a little bit more just to make sure. So we're looking at about 37.5, 38 for this particular project. Got some stuff on my screen. Got to make sure I get that off. So make sure I don't mistake it for colors when I'm trying to map stuff out. Okay. Now I'm going to take the clip white and I'm going to take it down. The same thing until everything that I want is white. Now you'll see if I go beyond what my black is, it'll flip. Okay, so this is the maximum that I can get there. I don't really want the maximum because that makes it really some really hard lines. So I'm going to go just until everything that I want is white. And so we're going to be right there around 93.2. Now if I change the source or the view from screen mat to final result, you can see there's my final result and he is completely cut out and ready to go. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do with this, you can do lots of things. Whenever I do a green screen, um, I always, this is all that I do. This is it. Okay. I take this, I save it. Let's see where I'm going to put it here.
Okay, I'm going to save it, and then I am going to export it. That's all I'm going to do. Well, that's a lie. Um, I'm going to make sure it's all in its own composition, which it is C009. So I'm just going to save it. I'm not going to export it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up my um, project that I am going to put him in, which is all done mostly. Need some modifications. That's going to open up, and I'm going to right click over here. I'm going to do import file. I am going to go to where I just saved that file. And I'm going to bring in that file. Let's call it sports green screen is what I call it. So that's my AEP. You'll see it comes in as a folder. In that folder, I've got the raw file. I've also got my... Um, green screen there okay so this green screen was done in 4k and this comp is only 1920 by 1080 it's only HD so I am going to go ahead and just shrink him down a bit put on my grid so I can put him right on the third there okay and let's go ahead and see what we've got. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all the other sounds. Actually, that one I want still there. And let's see how it looks. Okay, so yes, the audio is all garbled, and that's totally fine with me um, for now because I'm not dealing with the audio. But we can automatically see some issues coming to light on our key light here, and that's right up on his hair here. Okay, we've got it just a little bit too dark, so if I'm going to zoom in, let's go ahead and stop it, zoom in, and you see right here we're missing some hair. Just a little bit, but there's a hole in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this comp, select this layer where we've got our key light. I'm going to zoom into that area, dark area there. And now I'm going to clip my black back just a little bit. My white can stay about where it was. What we got at about 93. I don't want to get too much black in there. I'm going to take our clip roll back just a touch so we can make sure we're seeing his actual hair. It is dark right there, but that is his actual hair there now. So let's go back in, seeing that we do not have that spot there anymore. So let's go ahead and fit this back, preview it. I'm going to zoom in on his hair here, make sure we can still see his hair. Yep, it's still there. This is playing at, what, uh, one frame per second? Oh, I'm uh, messing things up here. Info is what I wanted. We're at 4.7 frames per second. Okay, because we're not cached, which is okay. That lets me see exactly what's going to be see-through, what's not, what I need to adjust there. So there you go. Green screen, chroma key, key light, whatever you like to call it. That's how we're going to stick a person on top of a video.